Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your day, whatever you're doing out there. In today's video, I would kind of like to talk to you guys about how to avoid the dangers of uh, updating your Xcode application to the latest version. So a lot of you guys are probably aware Swift 3.1 was recently released a couple of days ago along with Xcode 8.3.1. So in my personal experience of developing production applications that you know generate millions of dollars each month, uh, you want to make sure you can compile your uh, source code using the latest Xcode version. Uh, and the reason for that is because on your production applications, uh, you kind of need to apply bug fixes every now and then. So that means you have to compile your code using Xcode, uh, whatever, 831, and compile your code release it back onto the app store to make sure everything is working. Now, if you can't do that, then your bug fixes aren't going to show up in the app store, which can lead to a lot of different problems. So in today's video, I want to kind of show you guys how to run both versions of Xcode on the same machine at the same time, the newest version and then the older version. So I want to do that, but first let me kind of show you what kind of issues I've been running into using Xcode 831 right now. Okay, so what you're currently seeing on the screen here is the latest version of Xcode 8.3, uh, 8E162, you know, some version that I found on the Apple's developer website. And the project we have loaded up is the Instagram Firebase course that, you know, we're currently working on. And the application, you know, loaded up looks very similar to the Instagram app. You can scroll up and down in your home feed. You can click on the comments section for each individual post where there is a missing post here and I will fix that later. But uh, along with that, you can sign out of your application via the user profile page and you can hit this sign out. It'll bring you to the login page, right? Uh, anyhow, the whole point of this application is that we are using Firebase uh, database and storage to pull all of this information directly into the app. And the thing I noticed about uh, Xcode 8.3 is that when I built the project, there is a very, very long list of warnings that show up about some kind of pointer not aligned at address, right? So I don't really like warnings at all in my project. If you do a little bit of research on Stack Overflow, you can see this post here about all of these warnings that are showing up. So, you know, scrolling down, you try to find the solution for this, and there actually isn't a solution right now. Uh, the last post here says that uh, the Firebase team is aware of these warnings being generated in Xcode and they're kind of trying their best to resolve this issue. But currently, you just have to deal with these warnings right here, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, the other issue that I was running into the other day is that when I was trying to make a couple of calls to Firebase database, for whatever reason, Firebase uh, database like this was not being recognized through the autocomplete. So what that meant was that it was really hard to actually make these calls and figure out you know, what the proper methods were. Okay, so now let's take a look at what Xcode 8.2 does when we try to compile the project, all right? So Xcode 8.2 is the older version that I have loaded up on the exact same machine here. And when I build this same project, what I get in the warning tab is nothing at all. So I would advise you guys to kind of use Xcode 8.2 if possible, and then I'll show you how to do this in just a little bit. All right, so now I want to move on to a different issue related to Swift 3.1 here. And if you go on to the Fastlane GitHub repository, you can kind of see this post that says, module compiled with Swift 3.1 cannot be imported in Swift 3.0. And a lot of you guys have actually messaged me about this exact same error. And it seems like there's maybe some kind of signing issue related to this problem. But if you are running into this, uh, you're not gonna be able to compile your project if you're trying to import frameworks that aren't compatible. So that's kind of unfortunate. Now, in addition to this problem, we have this other issue that's uh, kind of reported by the Realm team. And the issue kind of says that the newest version of Xcode 8.3 compiles the entire code to be of size 158 megabytes down here. Uh, however, when compiling with Xcode 8.2, it only comes out to be 50 
five megabytes. So that's a huge difference, about three times the size. And it's kind of unfortunate for their team to deal with this issue uh, using the latest version of Xcode. All right, so now that you guys are you know, fully aware of the potential issues that you can run into, you know, how do you avoid this problem where you wanna be able to compile your code in the older version of Xcode, but at the same time, you wanna know what the newest updates are to you know, Xcode 8.3 or Xcode 9. So the solution that I've kind of come to accept over the you know, last couple of years is to just install both versions of Xcode on the same machine. So the way to do that is to go to the developer website here, and this works a lot better if you haven't updated your Xcode through App Store. And uh, you can have Xcode 8.2, click on the account section here. You have to uh, log into your account, and then you will be able to hit the download section on the left side here which takes you to all of these downloads. If you scroll down a little bit, you can find Xcode A3 right here. When you click on this download, however, it will take you to the App Store website right here, and then it'll launch uh, the App Store to update your Xcode 8.2 version. And I'm going to hit don't open, go back. And the secret here is that if you scroll even further below, there is a different section that says see more downloads. And inside of here is Xcode 8.3. If you click on this guy, it expands into a zip download where you click on here, it'll download this into whatever directory your downloads folder is. And you can extract this into a separate Xcode application and run it directly from there, allowing you to keep your old Xcode version and then run this new version just like how I'm doing on my machine. Okay, so that about wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, you really don't want to find yourself in the situation where you can't compile code that you want to release into the app store just because you're using the latest version of Xcode. Okay, so with that being said, if you're interested in the Instagram Firebase course, you can go check it out on my website using the link in the description below. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it for me. Keep on coding, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.